praise poet Jessica Mbangini brings ancestral blessings and cultural showcase to Marcus Garvey Fair. If you are in the presence of an Imbongi, praise poet Jessica Mbangini from South Africa, while at the Marcus Garvey Fair, the 25th of February, 2018, you will receive the blessings of the ancestors. The 15th Annual Fair, which begins at noon and ends at 7 p.m., has outgrown its original venue in the village of Resource and will now be staged at Cross Keys High School, Manchester. Praise poetry is an essential part of African DNA. The Imbongi is a traditional praise poet, who brings the message of the muse or sacred spirit of the ancestors to those in need of blessings, praise and protection. Jessica Mbangini, named the best praise poet in South Africa in 2017, will honor Marcus Garvey. Jamaica's first national hero and first continental Pan-African president, showering blessings on his legacy and the people of Jamaica. The Marcus Garvey Fair has been implemented and organized by the Lady President of the UNIA, Mrs. Valerie Dixon, assisted by her team of stakeholders and other key partners, such as the Country Style Community Tourism Network forward slash villages as businesses CCTNVAB headed by Mrs. Diana McIntyre Pike in collaboration with the International Institute of Peace through Tourism IIPT and Panacarib Business Solutions. Miss Mbangini will make a special visit to the Cross Keys High School which features a special visit by Ms. Mbangini on Friday. The 23rd of February, 2018. Ms. Mbangini will offer praise poetry during their devotion. She will then interact with students and staff. Students will learn the cultural, ethnic and music art forms of the Corsa people of South Africa. Students studying fashion design will learn about the diverse traditional wear of Ndabil, Zulu, Tsonga, Venda, Swatis, Swana, Khoisan and Basoto. The students will present a fashion show both at the school and at the Marcus Garvey Fair. The fashion showcase will feature Ms. Mbangini's Kwondu Afrocentric designs of traditional garments, exquisite beaded jewelry, headpieces and sandals as well as, other aforementioned ethnic designs. Mrs. Dixon will invite Ms. Mbangini on a tour of the resource community on Saturday, the 24th of February. This small community showed strong support for Marcus Garvey and his Black Star Line shipping enterprise. Marcus Garvey established the UNIAACL Division 695 in resource in 1921 and Liberty Hall was built to be the meeting place for its members and also to be used as a community center. During the community experience, Ms. Mbangini will learn how to make Bami, an original Taino staple made from cassava. She will pound cassava flour and make Bami to be served with ackee and salt fish Jamaica's national dish topped off with lemonade for lunch. These and other exciting activities fall within Black History and Reggae Month and Ms. Mbangini has been called on by a litany of notable entities in Jamaica to pay homage to its distinguished history, heroes, heroines, and music icons. <laughs>